I think the suspension uh, was definitely deserved. And, and part of the, the problem is that that word is so entrenched in sports. And what a lot of athletes don't understand, and I'm not putting this on them because they're not the only one in society that clearly uses that word or similar words, is they have yet to have made the link between using that word and how hurt, hurtful it can be to the LGBTQ community. A lot of them still see it as a word that needs to be, or a word that is used to, um, to mm -hmm. obviously come at somebody's manliness. Yeah. Uh, you're you're being, equating it with being weak, equating it with being less than a man, and even equating it with being basically a woman on, on right. some level. And so because of that, uh, I think that's why these cases consistently pop up. I mean, it reminded me of when Kobe Bryant was fined for something, uh, for saying the same thing, fined $100,000, is that even though uh, in L.A. he has friends uh, in the LGBT community, he still used that word because in their mind, they're not making the link. So yeah. hopefully this is an example that people can use as we need to get this out of sports altogether. I appreciate the way Polaris handled it. He mm -hmm. apolog apologized immediately last night, even though he didn't specify what he said. He immediately owned that he said something he shouldn't have. And then this morning, we thought it was going to be some investigation that was going to take a little Never while. Never got that far. Either he or his PR person understood that the right thing to do was just own it, apologize for it. Very well-worded tweet, and you saw he appeared to be sincere. All I would say is, and I don't know him, but all I would say is, if that was your go-to insult for all the reasons you just outlined, if your immediate thing to say that somebody, uh, that their strength and, you know, the, uh, some of the sexual orientation go hand in hand, that was your immediate go-to insult, for you to say that that's not who I am, are you sure about that? Are you absolutely sure that's, that that's not what you believe deep down? Maybe you just know better than to say it publicly, but are you sure that's not who you are? And I appreciate it at the end of his statement, he said, I'm going to do, work on myself. I believe he said that, I'm going right. to work on improving myself. So I hope he takes this opportunity to genuinely learn from it and, and, and repent and, and, and change his mind as it relates to that kind of thinking. Well, and that's where you really can judge truly In how sincere his apology is. Oh, it's absolutely. About what he does, what he does from going here. forward.